welcome back to my channel it's your girl elder you already know how we get down baby if this is your first time tuning in be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification because we drop a hot one every wednesday and friday but i welcome my new viewers with hugs kisses and love you already know and my subby babies you already know how we get down we be like welcome back back hey back back hey i know it's dark y'all but you know see what happened was um we about to celebrate my sister's birthday and i'm late like a whole two hours late so let's go ahead and get inside shall we oh. I, I told y'all hey <laughs> excuse me I got two sheet out? No, I'm about to go put on my Puma sandals, girl. Eh? Mm -hmm. My two live pool. Okay, babe. You know. Babe. Oh, I'm just What's like, you know. I was going to say something. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's how you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Praise <laughs> the Lord Jesus, okay? okay. Um, I'm going to definitely start off by saying that. Um, I'm going to keep it short. I love each and every one of you guys that are here. Um, you guys are a blessing to me in so many ways. And I'm grateful to be in your lives, to be of any type of help or encouragement. Like you guys were saying, like it, it, it makes me, it brings joy to my heart to be able to encourage, you know, all of you guys because at the end of the day, we need more positivity in this world. You know, it's a lot going on. Everybody has something different that they're dealing with. And at the end of the day, I want to be that light that God created me to be. And that light that he put inside of me, I needed to shine bright. Mm -hmm. So that way, you know, I've touched somebody's life before I leave this earth. Mm -hmm. But um, I really think, especially um, my husband and Kamisha for putting this together for me. Mm. I didn't expect all of this. I literally, like she said, I don't expect it much. I was just wanting to see some faces, eat some good food, and keep it moving. But this is beautiful. I appreciate it so much. It was last minute. Um, so I thank you guys for coming out. My bestie for leaving the babies at home. Um, my booze for driving all the way down. You already know Paul Bay Crew too loud. My honey being in the back. Thank you so much, sis. You know, I am not ashamed to say thank you for opening your home to me and my family. I appreciate you so much. That is to the core. That will never, never. I love y'all. I won't, like I said, I won't make it. I love y'all so much. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for your time. And enjoy the food and have a good time. Love y'all. Boo. Bye. <laughs> Bye, sis. Text me when you get home. Birthday girl, did you enjoy? I did. Aww. I had a good time with the people I love. You already know, baby.
So when are you leaving? Tomorrow. What, afternoon? I don't know yet. I'm, I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> and the people that have spoken. Yeah, right. Here, mommy, so much of Kenya. Uh, Thank you. So, y'all, listen. Let me go outside. <laughs> All right. Y'all. Y'all, I'm 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 so tired. I'm I'm so tired. But you know this girl over here, she was acting grand, y'all. I haven't seen her in about maybe two months. And I don't know what's up with light skinned people. Only in Miami, child. You leaving, baby? No, I'm about to jump in your car. Yeah, I'm about to jump in your car. You funny. Wait, what? Oh! Really? Me? No. I don't know how. Y'all. Baby girl got a new car. She don't know how to act, y'all. It's 2020. No, it's a different one. It's 2020. We still doing that? Yes, so. So, friend, tell me about the car, honey. Hey. Need some lights, sweetheart. Yes, honey. Yes. yes. Um, we is clean. So it's a 2018 okay. Chevy Equinox. Okay. Premier edition. Okay. So we have heated seats. They okay. also do a little cooling, so you can feel a little breeze go up the, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tested it out. I'm done with you. I hope you're not going on YouTube. I hope <laughs> Listen. Because I was hot. Yeah. All right. I, mean, I bet. Because I'm wearing jeans. I bet. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. She was hot. Stop. So, and it has a heated steering wheel. It heats as well. Um, If I get too close, like moving in another lane, or if I get too close to a car, my seat vibrates. Yo, yo seat vibrates. Oh, yes. you know I'm done. The seat vibrates to the right if I'm moving into another lane. If I have a car in front of me and I'm, I'm going too fast and I'm coming up on it, the whole seat at the bottom will vibrate. I'm happy for you, baby. Congratulations. Thank you. And I was panoramic just telling. Panoramic sunroof. Oh, panoramic sunroof, y'all. Oh, y'all see that? Yeah. It's beautiful at night. Oh. I'm about to say, let's lie to the beach. I should have had you pick Listen. me up. Oh. We we friend, I, I need I need to vent, friend. Well, I need happened? I need to vent. I'm gonna be talking to you and I'm gonna be talking to you too. But um nothing. I just been in my feelings the past couple of days. And you are so beautiful. Thank you, boo. Don't make me cry. So, um, and you are gorgeous. Thank you. My little caramel frappe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I just been in my feelings, y'all. Um and this is the last time we're gonna have this conversation, okay? The last time we're gonna have this conversation. It's that it's when you real when you really when you come to a point and you realize that you would that you was not really doing self care mm. and taking care of yourself and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um I just been I don't wanna say I've been in a funk lately, but I've been in a funk to where I've shut down. Where I wasn't, y'all, I wasn't even recording. I didn't want to record. 
Um, I can't even remember the last time I uploaded a podcast. Like, I just haven't been consistent with my normal routine. And you know me. I'm up early. Um, you know, this, that, and the third. And I was allowing the pressure of other people to wait on me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I'm just like, oh my God. <sighs> And then, like, then when it's time for me to take care of what I need to take care of, I feel like I'm running around with a chicken with no head. Even though I know what I need to do, but it's because it's being done last minute and I got to rush. Right. And I don't, and you know me, I don't, I don't like that. So, um, the power of no. So, for the past couple of days, I've been telling people no. And you know that meme when the person is eating the chips or whatever they was eating and, and they just watching the phone ring? Mm-hmm. I had to do that. I had to do that. No, for, I, I get it. For no, for real. Certain people call. I be like this. Yeah. Um. No, sir. Yeah. Sometimes you do that. Do that. You, but you, you, you really have to take care of you and. I can't be preaching one thing and I'm not doing it myself. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I need to test this seed out. Warm up my seeds for me, honey. You need a woman to see that? Uh, oh. Oh, there it is. Right here. Okay. That's the intensity of how hot it gets. Mm-hmm. Or how high, how low we put it. So, but yeah. It get too hot. I got you. So yeah, um, the power of no, you, you, it's okay to get selfish sometimes, you know, because at the end of the day, you got to make sure you are good. You got to make sure anything connected to you, like I eat my daughter, um, is good. You know, I need to make sure that I place myself in a position where, you know, in case I need help that my back is against is not against the wall and then I had to really look I'm like some some people I had to um look at and be like you know what at the end of the day you know you're able to call me for this you're able to call me for that but am I able to do that with you can I call you can I text you and tell you I need that same favor without getting a rebuttal or without getting an excuse and when I've come to realize that I cannot then you know what I got to switch it up and another thing is um you know with your circle you gotta you gotta look at, at how your circle is challenging you how they put pushing you how they're motivating you um are they pushing you or are they draining you you got to look at all of that because a lot of us are screaming no new friends but it's like no baby you need new friends to elevate mm. because obviously your old friends ain't where you desire to be you feel what i'm saying right. so you see like i just really been thinking about my whole life and i'm looking like listen the remaining of 2020 is going to be my best damn year all right, period. It's going to be my best year. I'm going to make more than what I've ever made within these last seven months because I know the God that I serve. I was talking to another friend um the other day. I was just like, at the end of the day, if you're not making no money, it's your fault. Mm-hmm. You know, because we sit on our gifts, we sit on our talents because of fear, because of no support, because of lack of consistency, because we're not believing in ourselves. But obviously, the person who's giving you the vision believes in you. The person who gave you the vision um, trusts you. You feel me? So why are we looking at other people to make provisions for a vision they never gave us? Right. Mm, I'm listen I'm about to start preaching y'all I'm about to start preaching so but I was just like you know like I just realized that at the end of the day I got to do what I got to do and God is going to God is going to move but what happens is we sit and we wait <clears throat> sorry y'all <clears throat> What happens is we sit and we wait for God to move but God is not going to move until you move right you feel what I'm saying? Because now you're moving and it's like, hold up. I got I, I got to because she's looking for me to come through. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you driving on a road that's not even complete yet, right? Say, um, for example, if you was to go past that red car right there and then you, and like, let, let's just say it would just drop straight down. But because God see you on this road, 
he was like, and you know you're going by faith, he's going to go ahead and line up whatever, whatever seashells and all, because you know the road's made out of seashell. But um, he's going to go ahead and create a road for you to get there. Hmm. Random fact, right? Hmm. Random fact, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> so... This is this is what I've been thinking about for the past couple of days. And you have to know your season to know your word. Right. Know your season, know your word. Because when you know what season you are in, then you are able to pray accordingly. You're able to pray strategically and you're able to see the fruition of that season. But what happens is because um, what happens is when we're in one season and we're not in tune, we're praying for something that we should receive in the next season. And then we get frustrated because we don't see it coming to pass because you're praying out of season. Hmm. You, 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 you see where my, you see yeah, where my I mind? See, I see where it's at. And, you know, I guess for me, <coughs> it's like <coughs> coronavirus. <laughs> it's like okay like you say you gotta know which season mm -hmm. you're in and it's like sometimes it's just yeah it's not easy to yeah so no don't don't get it twisted now you know? you're not always gonna know what season you in baby right. sometimes you just got to go in that season you got to be like peekaboo <laughs> okay Ooh, what is gonna see me i see you girl be kind of rough right there. Yeah, some seasons you just, you know, you you just you just not going to know. But it's a matter of trusting God. So, but I just got to a point where I was just like, you know what? God, forgive me. I had to repent because I was looking for my dependency to be on man and not on God. You get what I'm saying? So, I just got to I had to repent. And I had to ask God for forgiveness because it is him that will use people to get me to where he wants me to go. But it's not for it is not my business to look for those people. Right. You feel me? So, I had to put my dependency um back on God. I had to lean on God um, because it says lean not on your own understanding but to seek his will and all you do and he will show you which path to take and baby let me tell you it's hard okay <laughs> it's hard I'm not gonna sit here and, and make it seem like it's so easy because listen I had to get real with God I had to take off my lashes I had to take off my eyebrows I had to take off the mask and be real with God I said God I'm able to trust you in this area but I'm not able to trust you in this area why is is that what well, I had to I had to I had to expose it I had to expose that fear in that area because we can trust God to make provision for, i.e. for food but we can't trust God to make provision for a bill hmm. you get what I'm saying yeah. so it's like it's either you're gonna trust God in all areas or you know and and, and people don't want to admit that they say they have faith but they can have faith in one area and completely lack it in another. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm happy. I'm, 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 you, you know me. I'm happy you got your car. I've been wanting to change my car for the past three years. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, there's a fear there. There's a fear there. I, and I'm being so transparent with you guys. Y'all already know how I operate. Okay. Um, I went to go, I went, I went, okay, so in the past, um, and I'll probably do a story time on it later, but in, in all my rental history, I've been evicted twice, okay, so, and the last eviction happened not too long ago, um, uh, but by the grace of God, everything is cleared up, but there was a fear for me to go look for an apartment, you get what I'm saying, yeah. mind you, the eviction is paid off, right. mind you, it's not on my credit, my credit is good. It's going up. You get what I'm saying? But there was a fear there. So let me tell you what happened. Oh, this seat is high and nice. Yes, oh, God. So, um, but let me tell you what happened. So I went to go do an application at one um um uh place and I was approved. This is the first time, y'all, the first time I've ever applied for an apartment on my own. One. And then I was approved for a 3-2. What? Thank you. 
on my own. Then I was looking like, then I was so stuck on what I used to make before I got my raise. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Um, it was like, I was just like, but, but it wasn't until I sat, it's the man gave me an option. I, I was going for a one, 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 because it's only me and my daughter. Um, but I really wanted a two, two because I want her in her own room. Mm -hmm. And the guy was like, okay, well, do you want the two, two or the three, two? And I'm looking at him like. I qualify for the three two. That's what I asked the man. He looked at me like, "Yeah, you make enough by myself." But yeah, so um, so it's like by myself. Yeah, you get what I'm saying, and it's just like we are so stuck on the used yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And you have to let go of the used to in order to become. That's true. You have to let go of the used to in order to become. Listen, I know I'm talking good. I'm, I know I'm talking good, okay? But I'm just like, I'm just like, you see how fear robs us? Yes, it really does. It, it robs us. And I'm like, now I'm at a place, I'm just like, God, you got me in a place right now where... I'm really trying to figure it out because I don't see myself going to go apply for somebody's job. Listen, y'all, can I be transparent? Can I be real? Can I be real? I applied for a call center job. Then people email me back and say I overqualified. Really? A call center, y'all. I was like, let me just go get a couple of checks real quick, you know, then, yeah. restock up my uh, my savings account because it was looking a little, you know, a little sick there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it was fast and making room to receive, praise the Lord. But it was looking a little sick, so I was like, you know, let me just go do a call center real quick, you know, go through training. And they told you you overqualified. Then people told me I overqualified. I said, what? I said what? So I already knew that was God telling me what is you yeah. doing? What is you doing? So like I said this will be the last conversation that I'll be having with y'all and I'm putting Elder first in mm -hmm. every aspect of my life. I'm putting me first because I have a daughter that depend on me. I have a legacy that depend on me. I have an empire and I have a vision that God has given me that depends on me. And in order for me to execute it and in order for me to be a phenomenal mother unto my daughter, I have to make sure that I I continue to be in my right mind and I continue to push and be a better version of who I am and who I was the day before. So yes, the power of no all right so i'm locked in with my trainer um you know because physically i'm getting myself together mentally i'm getting myself together and spiritually i'm getting myself together in every three areas i'm gonna take off because i know it will be beneficial to me emotionally and financially okay so with that being said i pray that my transparent conversation um you know, with my boo thing, my my Carmel Fred Page. This is my girl, y'all yeah, love her. I love her. <laughs> listen, listen. I love you. I want you to elevate. I want you to increase. I want you to have that transparent moment with God, and I want you to be real with yourself, especially if you feel like you're at a stagnant place. All right, but I want you to go ahead and comment below. I am growing. All right, if you are on this journey with me, it is a never ending journey, but you got to start somewhere, baby. And if you feel like you're at a place of nothing, I want you to know nothing is a beautiful place because it gives you the opportunity to create. But be blessed, be encouraged, and remember, you already know, baby, we got victory on every side. <laughs>